So, just got back from the gym. Got my dinner here, guys. I'll post the meals right away, I think is the nice, um, a nice structure for me to do. Um, so you're gonna see breakfast, lunch, dinner, which is this, and then snacks. Snacks for me is typically first or second lunch, just so you guys know, uh, because I typically have breakfast obviously in the morning before work. I typically take two lunches, so lunch and snacks. And then I typically have dinner after the gym. Um, so just so you guys know, so this is potatoes, ground beef, eggs, two of them, and some egg whites. And of course, you'll see that from the screenshot that I post. Um, so I'm just going to chow this down. Um, ooh, it's hot. Ooh, nice and steamy. Eggs just got done cooking. The rest of the food just got done microwaving. Um, so a little, a little hot. So by the time I talk, hopefully it cools down so I can chow down. Um, so I did uh, a pull day today, guys, and I'm <clears throat> still on that push-pull legs. Um, honestly, it was a pretty good pull day. I did uh, pull-ups, did um, some shrugs, did some biceps, one straight bar curl, which surprisingly kind of hurt my right wrist. Um, I typically do... The easy bar curl because they say that's easier on your wrist and uh, i have a skateboarding injury that affects my left wrist um and periodically i'll get like shooting pain in my left wrist um, so not every time that i'm able to not every time that i do pull day am i going to be able to do straight barbell curls just because of that wrist issue but this time my right wrist actually hurt quite a bit too on like one of the last reps like the second last rep so then the last rep i kind of like changed my wrist position a little bit and it, and it didn't hurt uh, but the only thing is I, I was watching this Mike Menser video where he's like oh don't use the easy curl bar because that trains the the brachialis like this muscle here use the straight bar because it actually trains the bicep honestly I didn't look into it super in detail because I know that like if you do wide grip easy bar curl or close grip it'll work different parts of your bicep so it's like I thought it worked your bicep I don't know if he just means it worked the straight bar works your biceps better than um the easy curl bar but it definitely works your bicep like the, the easy curl bar but um honestly i got a pretty good pump i don't know if it's just mental with the straight bar curl so i've been trying when i can just to use that uh, more often of course days that my wrist hurts i'll just use the easy curl bar just to avoid wrist pain and like curling with the easy curl bar is better than not curling at all for my biceps so there goes the, the notion again with um something is better than nothing it's kind of like my motto that i'm uh, carrying over uh, honestly i should make a shirt with that saying something is better than nothing um so yeah i did a straight bar curl i also did hammer curls um i did um and i typically want to do like one more bicep curl just to get a second bicep exercise because i'm really trying to bring out my biceps and Honestly, who doesn't want big arms? Um, so what did I do for biceps? I did, um, oh yeah, cable single arm curl, just to even out the arms a little bit and just to make the arms work independently. So if you favored one side more with the barbell curl, at least you can kind of even things out a little bit. Um, and the hammer curls I did with obviously dumbbells, like you can't do it with barbell. Um, but I guess you can do cable hammer, hammer curls, but no, I did dumbbell, bar dumbbell, hammer curls um so yeah and I did like a row for my upper back a row for my lower like lats kind of area like mid lower back kind of thing did some shrugs of course um so I kind of break up the back um and, and sorry I did another vertical pull down so I did the pull-ups for a vertical pull for the lats and then I also did a machine pull down and um lately I've been pulling like narrow with my grips as far as like vertical pulling because I think it just activates the lats a little bit better um I remember Dorian Yates um said if you want big lats pull narrow and I think he was on to something when he was saying that because I think that works better to grow your lats because if you go wider you tend to work like other areas of your back which like you still should go wide every now and then but I think if you want to really get like wide which for me is a weak point that I really want to bring up um you should um uh, pull narrow um, so I did pull-ups and then I did the machine pull-down 
And uh, yeah, that's just to get a second vertical pulling. Because other than that, I just break up my back workout into like different sections of my back, give or take. Like nothing too sciencey. And then I pick one exercise that hits it hard. I do a top set and then I do a back off set, which is usually a drop set or sometimes I rest and do an actual second set. Um, but lately I've just been doing the drop set. So you basically get two sets to failure, but one of them is a lower rep range because you're only dropping the weight by a little bit for the drop set, not like a ton because I only want to get like, like half the amount of reps I got for my top set on my drop. Um, and still keep the weight kind of heavy and, and of course keep the form good. Um, and so what I do is I do like shrugs for traps and then I want something for upper back. So I'll do like an upper back row. And what I mean by that is like where you pull in location to your back is typically where you train the muscles in your back. So if you're pulling more to your chest, you're training, if you flip yourself behind and you you know, your chest is here wherever that is located on your back you're roughly training like that kind of area of course like there's some variation you could be training other areas but when you're doing like rows and stuff like that that's usually a good gauge as to like um, where on your back that you're training um, so I do something where it's a little bit higher pulling and then I do the seated cable row which I'm pulling more to like my belly button so then something more for the lower kind of like region of my back but not my lower back per se like just that lower lat kind of area of course, something for the outside here, like your lats, so your vertical pulling. And yes, you can do obviously like rows that target your lats by digging your elbow in. But I'm just using this as like a generic kind of rule because um, like I somewhat know that these exercise train those certain areas, but I don't want to get like too sciencey with it because honestly that takes the fun away from it. But I know those hit those regions like for sure. Um, and then, so everything's pulling, so then like biceps, of course, hammer curls, so you can train the brachialis and the brachioradialis, which is when you like crunch your arm down, this little slab of meat right here. So you're trying to train all of this side portion here, the muscle that lies in between your tricep and your bicep. It's really important to, to build that up. Um, I also did some rear delts, so just some belt, bent over raises, and those felt pretty good. Um, but yeah, like it's... Pretty solid workout, got it done just over an hour, which is pretty good for me because again, I'm mostly doing just one top set with a drop set and both of those to failure. So I'm getting like a nice push on each exercise. Um, except for the pull-ups, I did two top sets, then a drop, and I actually did a double drop, kind of like a rest pause. So I did my one set to failure, rested for enough time to be fully rested for another set, did my second set to failure, did a drop, with half the amount of reps by drop set i mean like just basically a rest pause so you rest for like 10 15 